Ever wondered about the lurking dangers of tick bites? Most people are aware of Lyme disease caused by the bacterium Borrelia, but have you ever heard of Babesia, a malaria-like parasite that attacks red blood cells, whose primary job is to oxygenate every cell in our bodies? In a recent compilation of research led by Professor Thomas Janeson, the frequency of ticks infected with Borrelia and Babesia has been studied. Neuroborreliosis, a serious form of Lyme disease where the infection attacks the brain, is known to leave around 10 to 15% of those affected with lingering symptoms. Yet, no one knows why. Speculations vary from persistent infection, reactivated viruses, to autoimmune problems. Ticks have been studied multiple times to determine if they are infected with various types of microorganisms. Today, it is known that they can transmit dozens of different infections to humans. In this case, the focus was mainly on Babesia and Borrelia. The same information from previous studies was used to investigate how often ticks carry these microorganisms simultaneously. Out of 1,952 ticks removed from humans in Sweden, 3.1% were positive for Babesia, and of these, 43% were also positive for Borrelia. The results show that ticks in Sweden sometimes carry Babesia, and often carry Borrelia, causing acute illnesses and sometimes chronic diseases. The study reveals that tests to detect Babesia infection are rarely performed in Europe, and the authors suggest that the severity of this disease for human health may not be fully understood. It's worth noting that a previous Swedish study showed that 16.3% of Swedes in southern Sweden, who tested positive for Borrelia, also tested positive for Babesia. This is intriguing given that healthcare providers usually do not test for such infections. Another Swedish study worth mentioning found that 44% of Swedes who had been bitten by ticks tested positive for rickettsia, another tick-borne disease that healthcare providers usually do not monitor. The takeaway from this research compilation is clear. Ticks carry more than just Borrelia. Babesia and other microorganisms are also a significant threat. The importance of understanding the full extent of tick-borne diseases cannot be overstated. The research findings highlight the need for increased awareness, improved testing, and better treatment strategies for these often overlooked infections.